pink look? Uh-uh. Mm. Yep, I'm eating flowers today. And actually, not bad. Mm -hmm. Bet you didn't know you could eat these flowers. Good enough to eat Joanne Martin and Vicki Hutchins. Join us again from the Gooseberry Patch Ladies. Now, a few minutes ago, Walter made this salad using ingredients straight from the farmer's mm -hmm. market. Mm -hmm. And now we have flowers. And you're going to eat it. And I'm eating them. Yeah. They told me it was safe. I'm not just doing this <laughs> on my own, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. eating a flower. The Who truth knew? is, you buy them. Yes. And you can get them at Giant Eagle or any store around. These are organic. Mm -hmm. There are no pesticides. We were saying that most people think of flowers and they go to the floral department. These yeah. kinds of flowers, no. No. Herbs. Yes. In the herb department. <laughs> in the yes. produce section. Yes. So they've not been sprayed. There are no pesticides on them. And they're beautiful colors. We've sprinkled yes. some in here. Um, nasturtiums. Mm -hmm. We're saying uh, snapdragons. There's marigolds. This? Snapdragons. Yes, if you'll finish yes. up that marigold. There's okay. probably got some nutrition Ooh. in there. <laughs> and you told me, some vitamin C or I something. mean, I, you know, the thing is, like, you think you can eat a flower. I mean, that was what caught mm -hmm. our attention right from the get go. So these flowers, though, you got to stress, they yes. come at the grocery store, yes, not absolutely. at the next, flower next market. To the herbs. Look at all these. Look how beautiful Who they are. Can eat these? Or you can grow your own as long as you grow them correctly. You have to do a little research on which ones are correct, but you don't want any pesticides on them whatsoever. Now, so. is is it okay to say it doesn't have much flavor? I mean, it's True. more. I it's more have, for really for garnish. It for, is. Some of them have a little bit of a spicy, like a arugula, bit. like certain lettuces okay. would. Mm -hmm. So it's got mm -hmm. a little bit of that earthiness. But yeah. the, I didn't the have salad looks so beautiful. beautiful. I was um, going to say, let's show what they can do, it though. Does. And we just used a simple uh, a ceramic bird bath uh, to serve the salad up. Very, you know, and it's brand new. Never it's used it really used. as a bird bath. There. Okay, so a few <laughs> yeah. more things that you can find in your garden that you yes. don't want to use. <laughs> well, you know what's interesting about you guys is you always find great ways to serve some of your delicious meal items, such as the salad. So let's take a look here at everything that you've got. One thing that caught my eye this morning, I'm not going to lie mm -hmm. here, shot glasses? What is this? Yes. Actually, they're candle, they're votive candle cups, so you can buy those at your local craft store, <laughs> as well as this container came from the craft store. It's a giant Very martini cool. glass with homemade gazpacho in. Which is a great recipe, and it's on our website. Uh, it's so very, very shooters. easy. If yes. you want to try one, we've got a little sour cream on it. Yeah, and I think you should. Really flavorful okay. and crunchy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, that's, that's really you can, I was going to say fresh. That fresh. is the first very word that comes fresh to mind. And fresh and chilled. It's it's mm. just wonderful. And you know, one other thing that really caught my seven-layer salad over mm -hmm. here. Look at these jars. Is this beautiful. not the perfect way to serve something? Here, here we've got one opened up, and it's really, you could do whatever. This is a mm -hmm. Southwestern, so we've got lettuce and tomatoes and black beans and corn, and I think it was a Southwestern, Southwestern ranch. Southwestern dressing, yes. Nice. Uh -huh. And Lettuce. you literally just take the spoon and just pile you it can, in, right? You can put yes. it into a jar, and then what we've done here, just to make them portable, you can just put a little mm -hmm. piece of fabric on the top. Makes, makes them it look extra nice. pretty, a little extra yeah. special. Oh, yeah. It's just a square of fabric that goes underneath your canning mm -hmm. lid. That is a great idea for a party. Actually, I'm not going to lie, Lisa was taking some ideas over here for some parties that apparently she's going to have coming up. So if you see that again, but also <laughs> yeah, you can find yeah, that on good. your website. Yes. And finally, we've got to talk about what is in the skillet That's here. A savory skillet pie. I'm done with it. We have tried and true different vegetables. The mm -hmm. sneak one in here is Swiss chard. Yes, and that's kind of unusual mm. for a lot of people. Yes. Mm. But it's very wow. That was yes. the first time I'd actually yes. had it. It's got peppers so. and onions, mm. um, some egg mm -hmm. and cream, all kinds of vegetables. Swiss chard, and of course a little bacon. And wow. Bacon. Yes, and I taste the bacon, but very, very fresh. Great mm -hmm. ideas as always, ladies. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And all the recipes are on our website. All you have to do is go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links. So, like I said, I saw Lisa taking ideas. <laughs> Amy Walter. I mean. Is this not the way to do a party? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that big glass? Yes. <laughs> uh -oh. I was trying to get the gooseberry patch ladies to my house, not <laughs> just the good. ideas. And by the way, if you have never had Swiss chard, you have got to try it. It is delicious. Have you ever had it? No. My grandma always grew it. It's kind of like a spinachy, sort of leafy thing. It's mm. an amazing vegetable. That sounds good. A little tip this morning. Give it a try. Cool. Okay. I was kind of hoping that big jar was like a giant Bloody Mary. But no. <laughs> Oh, see, there you go. They can make it for us. They said it is possible.